So if you go into any search engine, here I have opened Google, and type in web ad sizes, uh, you can get some uh, ad sizes for web pages. Um, well, that's not a good one, a better one. Well, let's just go to images. This one gives you uh, a whole set of sizes. I'm just going to go with this 240 by 400 for now, just because. Um, and I'm making my stage that size. Okay. Uh, scrolling in and out um, with control enlarges, reduces. Um, control minus and plus does the same. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a sun rising over a blue sky. So rather than make a, a blue rectangle, I'm just going to go with a blue. And that's going to be my sky. So I'm just going to have a sun rise up and over, um, and maybe a few clouds. So this is going to be an advertising banner. And um, as I'm animating stuff here, you'll be able to animate text and pictures and all sorts of things. So let's make myself a sun. Um, I'll just do it at the side. I'm going to press shift <coughs> and bring me out a circle, a square ellipse as it were. Uh, with it selected, I'm going to make it more yellow. Um, and sun is never that sharp edged, so I'm going to go to filters and down here we've got blur. Uh, now this is quite sensitive. Uh, so I'll just I'll blur it that much. You can see this is keyframeable so I could have it blurred that much there and even more blurred somewhere else along the timeline. Okay so there's my sun. Okay very nice. Um, it's going to go from here to here but in that sort of shape, okay. Uh, sounds like a plan. Um, so what do we need to do? We're going to turn motion paths on. Uh, I'm at this time here. I'm going to keyframe both the X and the Y. So we've got a keyframe there, that's good. Um, let's just let's do it over 10 seconds. So I'm just Magnifying this so we can get 10 seconds, just there. So move this out to 10 seconds. Let's just move that. Okay. So um, at 10 seconds, uh, you can see this location here. As soon as we move it, we're going to get a keyframe here. And because we're doing motion paths here, I get a, st a straight line. So I'm going to click on it and just offer up that point there so that our path is now like so. Okay, looks fairly decent. Um, come back to the beginning. I'm going to uh, transform the scale. It's going to be a hundred percent there. Um, it's going to be the same at the end. Okay, I think I could probably click that as well to put the points there. And halfway through, I'm going to make these, I don't know, 120, what do you think? 120. Maybe 120 is not enough to see. Uh, let's just have a look. Maybe a bit more. Maybe 150. I'm being lazy here. I should type these in, shouldn't I? Nearly. There we go. How's that? So we've got um, a reasonable change. So we can play that. Now what I'm finding is that uh, on some of these plays where you press spacebar, um, it uh, we do get some artifacts that are a little bit strange. Uh, so right, okay, now what I'm going to do is make some clouds. So let me just um, 
block that and get rid of it. Uh, it's only just taking out the transparency. I'm going to make some little fluffy clouds. Now we don't have a pen tool so what I'm going to do is make um, some little fluffy clouds out of some of these. Uh, I'm going to make them white. Uh, control C, Control V, just make that maybe just make this a little bit like that. Uh, we'll get that one. Control C, Control V, Control C and V. It'll all make sense. Okay, so a nice fluffy cloud. So there's several objects then. You can see we're, we're getting our objects up here in the elements. Uh, if you're in outer space, uh, what I should have said was you could drop this up here. Um, lessons, elements. Um, the sun, oh it's locked. I can unlock it. The, um, the sun. I need to call that sun. And then we know what it is. These I'm going to select and then right click and we're going to have a look at these. We're going to um, group elements in a div. Okay, so you can see we've made a group and now when I move any one it's uh, all there together. What I'm also going to do is, well we could have um, if we put that there and we do control C control V I've made a second one so you can see now that we have two groups however a more better alternative uh, under symbols here is to convert this to a symbol um, cloud. I could have several clouds, so I'll call it cloud one. And then here it is. There's my cloud. Now this is very much like um, movie clip symbols we had in Flash. And now I can take that away and bring a cloud on. Do I do it from there? I bring that there. And I can bring another cloud on. And I can bring another cloud on. So what I can do with these is go to the transform, rotate, I can resize, um, I can, ooh, let me see if I can colour, um, hmm, you used to be able to colour individual ones, maybe you can, I don't know, the problem is, if I want if I want to colour one cloud as a symbol now, if I double click not the cloud name, because it changes the name, but double click this element here, you'll see that I go into the editing mode of the cloud. We can see here this this is like a breadcrumb. I can go back to the stage, uh, just like flash, and then go back into the editing mode. And if I want to make this object coloured, mm, I'm not sure if I can. Um, group elements, ungroup elements. So I can break these down into individual elements now. Okay. The problem is that when I go back to the stage, every one of these, because it's a clone of the symbol, becomes affected. But let's not worry too much about that. What is interesting is that we can size these um, and of course we can blur them. Perhaps we ought to blur them in here. Uh, it's not letting us. Okay, so maybe we can blur them here. Okay, this would make sense. So let's Blur that cloud 
let's blur this cloud uh, if you can see where we can colorize these that would be good um, we can I guess make them sepia so we can add some yellow in there maybe yeah, a little bit okay so at the minute um, our sun which is disappeared let me just get the bottom of this right let's move that get our sun uh, make it visible so our sun is going behind the clouds which is good but we might want some of these clouds to be transparent so if we just maybe move that down like so maybe this one is quite oh, I see I'm messing around now with um, the opacity let's just not do that set it back to here set the opacity of the cloud to that set the opacity of this to be something different set the opacity of that to be quite small right so we can see we can see the sun behind all of those okay so that's quite nice isn't it <clears throat> and so we're having we could have this we could have text coming through uh, because we can uh, keyframe the blur we could have text coming in stopping focusing um, and then blurring and then shooting out so you can have all sorts of different effects um, the thing is now as I've been finding through the preview in a browser when IE launches Internet Explorer whilst we've got transparency it does not like blur and some of the effects in IE are just not uh, just not available to us so let's have a look at this um, just put this in here so this is Chrome and I guess Firefox is going to be very similar so I'm just copying the preview in a browser link I mean that, that is sort of reasonably realistic isn't it it's not too bad this grave thing on the symbol is uh, needs changing so that's that so we've got um, some of the blur filters you you be able to get um, shadow direction of shadow the blurring of the shadow um, we've looked at um, symbols if you double click this little symbol here it's the cog for movie clips in flash we can't do too much to it okay we can't do too much to it at all uh, but we put them in here once and then we drag them onto stage um, for as many times as we want and you can see that um, the elements are, are far more simple now okay so we make it once and then we use it as many times as we want that's it very good thank you bye